As snow blankets the earth in winter's icy embrace, have you ever pondered the orchestration behind the symphony of seasons, guiding the transition from the deathly chill of winter to the vibrant renewal of spring? Good evening, and welcome to another captivating episode of Scary Tales, where myths and legends come alive under the moonlit sky. My name is Mr. Rook, your guide through these enigmatic hallowed halls where we illuminate the obscure and whisper life into the forgotten. Tonight, our journey takes us deep into the heart of Slavic mythology, to a figure enshrouded within the icy grasp of winter and the mysteries of spring's rebirth. Marzana, the Slavic goddess of winter, death, and rebirth, is a formidable deity who reigns over the cold, unforgiving winter months, weaving a tapestry of frost and snow across the land. Welcome, dear friends, to Scary Tales. In the shadowed folds of Slavic mythology, Marzana emerges as a figure both revered and feared alike. Her origins, veiled in the mists of ancient lore, portray her as a deity intrinsically linked with nature's cyclical patterns, particularly the transition from the biting cold of winter to the rejuvenating warmth of spring. Marzana known as Mara or Marena in several other Slavic cultures, is a name derived from the Proto-Slavic word Mar, meaning death or nightmare, reflecting her association with the colder, darker aspects of nature and the human psyche. Marzana's imagery is often stark and haunting, a reflection of winter's harshness. She is typically represented as a beautiful but gaunt figure with long black hair and pale skin and is usually draped in white, symbolizing the snow that she brings with her. In some depictions, her withered, frostbitten appearance embodies the deadly grip of winter. Yet there is an undeniable majesty in her portrayal, a reminder of the awe-inspiring power of nature in its most dormant state. Associated with her are symbols of death and rebirth, ravens, icicles, and sometimes a scythe or sickle, reminiscent of the grim reaper. These symbols echo her role in the natural cycle of life, death, and rebirth as she ushers in the end of the fertile season only to prepare for its eventual return. Myths surrounding Marzana are plentiful, each illustrating her influence and reign over winter. Perhaps the most prominent legend speaks of her inevitable defeat at the hands of the spring goddess, Vesna, symbolizing the triumph of life over death, warmth over cold, and rebirth over decay. This ancient narrative, passed down through generations, serves not only as a mythic explanation for the changing seasons, but also as a metaphor for the human condition, our own cycles of struggle, dormancy, and eventual renewal. Within the rich fabric of Slavic tradition, the enigmatic Marzana emerges as a figure of profound significance. Her realm extends beyond the mere heralding of winter's cold, touching upon the very cycle of life and death that governs the natural world. She is not just a deity to be acknowledged. She is an essential presence in seasonal rituals and cultural expressions. A captivating episode from Marzana's mythology unfolds with Dasbog, the radiant sun god, symbolizing life and vitality. Their entwined destinies paint a picture of love and betrayal, of passion and power. The lore recounts how Marzana, once the lover of Dasbog, succumbed to jealousy and poisoned him. In a tale steeped in the dramatic ebb and flow of ancient deities' lives, Dasbog's retaliation was fierce and unforgiving. He burned Marzana, casting her into Nav, the shadowy underworld of Slavic myth, marking an eternal rift between the chilling embrace of winter and the life-giving warmth of the sun. This poignant myth is reflected in the enduring customs practiced to this day. As the chill of winter loosens its grasp, effigies of Marzana are meticulously constructed only to be consigned to the flames or the depths of waters. This symbolic act of drowning or burning her representation marks a communal release from winter's hold and a collective embrace of the coming spring. It is a ritual of purging, of renewal, a visceral farewell to the deathly pall of the cold months and a jubilant greeting to the resurgence of life. Marzana's tale intertwines with the customs of the people, bridging the divide between the mystical and the mortal, a testament to the enduring legacy of the Slavic goddess of winter, death, and rebirth. In the shadowy corners of Slavic folklore, where the cold whispers of winter linger, 
Marzana assumes a more ominous guise. She is the embodiment of the season's merciless nature, its frosty breath a harbinger of the hardships endured by those under its dominion. Her name evokes the bleakness of the landscape, a reminder that death is an ever-present specter in the cycle of life. Yet Marzana's influence extends beyond the mere turning of the seasons. She dwells within the Mirror Palace, a spectral abode reflected in the icy sheen of winter's touch. This palace, shrouded in the frost of the other world, is rumored to be reachable only through the mystical Kalinov Bridge, a liminal space that spans the chasm between the living and the realm of spirits. The mythos of Marzana and Dasbog is but one strand in the intricate weave of her dark tapestry. After her betrayal and Dasbog's fiery retribution, Marzana's existence became one with the shadowy depths of Nav. Her presence in this netherworld, accessed through the mystical Kalinov Bridge, solidified her association with the end of life, her image forever mirrored in the frozen surfaces that separate our world from the beyond. In the villages and hamlets where winter's grip is felt most keenly, Marzana is both respected and feared. The burning of her effigy, an act steeped in tradition, serves as a ward against the lingering spirits of winter, ensuring that the cycle of death gives way to the renewal of spring. Yet, the flames that consume her likeness are not just a farewell to the cold, but also an acknowledgement of its necessity, its role in the balance of nature's order. Contemplating Marzana's place within Slavic culture, we find a deity whose dual nature reflects the complexities of the human condition. She is a goddess to be revered, her powers respected, and her departure celebrated with flames that signify not just the end of her reign, but the beginning of life anew. In today's world, where the changing of seasons is marked more by the calendar than by ritual, Marzana's symbolism still holds a profound significance. She represents the eternal cycle of ending and beginning, of death leading to rebirth. As winter's chill thaws into the warmth of spring, we are reminded of the transformative power of nature and the resilience of life. Modern interpretations of Marzana reflect our ongoing dialogue with tradition, our desire to maintain a connection to the natural world and its rhythms. In some Slavic communities, the ancient customs surrounding Marzana are revisited with a renewed sense of awareness. The effigies burning, once a widespread rite heralding the end of winter, now serves as a cultural touchstone, a way for people to engage with their heritage and the universal themes embodied by this powerful deity. Thus, the ancient Slavic goddess of winter's desolation and spring's bloom remains a pertinent figure in our modern collective psyche. She stands as a symbol of the inexorable march of time and the constant renewal that follows destruction. In every ending, there lies the seed of a new beginning, and in every death, the promise of life anew. The rituals that once sought to banish her are now reminders of our connection to the past, to the rhythms of the natural world, and the enduring human spirit that finds hope even in the coldest of seasons. As we bid farewell to the goddess Marzana, let us carry forward the lessons of resilience and renewal she imparts. With the inevitable change and the cycle of life and death, there is a beauty to be found in surrender to the natural flow of existence. It is within this flow that we find renewal and hope. A reminder that after the longest and darkest of winters, spring will always return, bringing with it the warmth of new life and opportunities. Thus, as the final snowflakes of Marzana's reign give way to the budding promises of spring, we are reminded of the ever-turning wheel of time, of endings that herald beginnings, and of the frost that nurtures the bloom. In the dance of death and rebirth, she remains a spectral warden at the crossroads of seasons, both feared and revered. Let us not forget, as the chill of her touch fades into the warmth of new life, that every tale is a cycle, every end a prelude to another start. And so, as we part with the cold embrace of Marzana, we welcome the coming spring, not just as a change of seasons, but as a symbol of the resilience and renewal that dwells within us all. My dear friends, our tale for this evening has concluded, 
but our journey does not end here. Visit us again soon. Here in our little corner of the ether, we shall unravel another tale, a story imbued with fear, superstition, and perhaps the occasional sprinkle of fairy dust. We hope you enjoyed tonight's story. Join us again as we delve into the pages of history, folklore, and some things that make us wonder, and perhaps others that make us shudder. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to Scary Tales. We're a small channel, but with your help, we'll continue to grow. Together, we'll explore the shadows and the light of the world's most enchanting and terrifying tales. As we part ways tonight, carry with you the warmth of the tales we've woven and the curiosity to seek the hidden truths in the world around us. Thank you for being part of our Scary Tales family. Your presence enriches our journey into the unknown. May the stories we explore together ignite your imagination and open your eyes to the wonders that lurk in the twilight. Until we meet again, keep the flame of wonder alive. Sleep well and good night.